Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and today we are getting into the brand new G3 Monster High Draculaura and I am super excited to open up this doll right here. She is just looking absolutely gorgeous as you can see right here. And this is the new packaging, giving Barbie extra vibes if you will. Um, but uh, we have like this little coffin shape here in the middle. Uh, we do have Draculaura on the front right there. Some beautiful artwork down here at the bottom. We have Count Fabulous, and we have the Monster High logo over here on the side as well. Um, on the back side of the box here, you can see that we have a full art drawing of Draculaura, some of the other ghouls sitting on the steps here, and then we have a little read up down here. If you wanna pause the video and read that for yourself, you can. Uh, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is international packaging, so your packaging may differ, um, but on the bottom here, you can see the barcode. If you wanna screenshot this to be able to try to find Draculaura in the wild for yourself, you can go ahead and do so. Um, but that being said, I mean, there's really not much else to show on the box. We got Monster High on one side. Um, we have some cute little icons for Draculaura on the other. The top really has nothing going on with it. So that being said, I'm super excited to get it in this box and uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm speechless right now. So if you're new here to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. Also, follow me on Instagram because lots of fun stuff is happening there and you don't wanna miss out on it, I promise you. So much fun is happening on my Instagram account and I'm on TikTok as well. That link is in the description, so follow me in all those places. But let me go ahead and get Draculaura out of the box, get all the things here situated so I can show it to you and tell you what I think and we'll do a comparison to the G1 Draculaura later on in the video so stay tuned for that but let me get her open and we'll get started. All right so I have everything laid out here on the table as you can see but you know the drill and if you don't you're new here and you should subscribe. We're gonna set Draculaura off to the side so we can check out everything else that comes inside of the box here real quick. Now we have some accessories here, accessories galore basically. Uh, the first thing that we have is this cute little cape though for Draculaura. Look at how detailed that is, little hearts and bats on the inside. And then on the outside we have those same hearts and bats. Very, very cute, feels very nice, it's very smooth. And there's a little ribbon here to tie it shut. You can tie it around her neck or anything like that. Um, we also do have a pair of sunglasses right here, as you can see, with little bat wings and hearts in the middle. Very, very cute. Um, one of my favorite things out of this whole thing is this bat pack. Um, <laughs> with a little heart and uh, obviously you can shove some stuff inside of here if you want. It's kind of rubbery so it just kind of bends open a little bit if you will and uh, it has some cute little glossy bat wings on it and a couple of little straps for her arms. Um, we also do have her pet, Count Fabulous. Look at that and we'll compare this to the G1 pet. Uh, actually right now here is G1 versus G3. There you go. So little, little bit of a difference there, huh? Um, that being said, let's move on. We do have a tiny little bottle of SPF 500 sunscreen because you know, uh, Dracula vampires, they need uh, sunscreen. They can't be in the sun or, or they will probably get hurt, I guess. <laughs> um, we also do have what we look, looks like to be, oh, that's cute a little blood icy kind of thing. And look at this, it actually opens up. That is adorable, so adorable. Has two little bloody cherries on the front. And finally, we have one of the cutest items. Look at this little pretzel. It's a little bat pretzel and it comes out. Look at its little face. Oh my goodness, this thing is so adorable. Holy moly, wow. You know, we, and many of you know, we don't get any stands with the G3 Monster High dolls, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but luckily most of them, from what I've been able to tell, can stand on their own pretty easily. Like, look at that, that took like no time at all. So um, that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the ghoul of the hour as soon as I get her earring untangled from her hair. Here we have Miss Draculaura and oh my goodness, 
I am super excited. Look at, look at her, she's so adorable. Let's start out by taking a look at her face though. So here we go with Miss Draculaura. Nice little close up on her face there. Uh, she has a beautiful screening in my opinion. I love this little heart that she still has on her face. I'm glad that they kept that around and her little fangs right there. I love the hairstyle that they did. We do have a little bit of product in here holding this all kind of together, so keep that in mind. And she does have this headband which likes to kind of slide down a little bit because it's clipped in on the sides with these two little plastic ties right here, um, which you can undo and take off pretty easily. Um, and as far as her hair goes, uh, everything is really smooth. I wanna say, I, I'm a terrible judge at hair, so don't quote me on this, but it feels like Saran. Um, it's just got that same feeling from the older Monster High dolls, um, and so it's very soft, no product at all, very smooth, loving it so much. Um, and then she has these cute little bat earrings. So we have one on this side, and a pink one on this side, so black and pink and look at that face, looking super cute. So let's go ahead and take a look at Draculaura's outfit here. I dig it, and it's got some hints of the G1 dolls in it, but it is definitely very, very different. Um, the first thing that I love are these uh, kind of sheer sleeves right here, and then we have this uh, little corset piece that's very similar and very reminiscent, I guess, it, t it takes, Little, has little style winks to the G1 Draculaura, and it has little hearts and bats all over it. And then beneath this whole thing, she has some shorts on, which have little hearts that are uh, either little fangs on them or little eyes on them. It's, it's really cute, regardless of, of exactly what it is. Um, and then she has these uh, nice little uh, lacy like lines down the front of it, which feel really nice as well. I think this is probably the best G3 doll in terms of the outfit, at least in my opinion. Um, it all comes off in the back via Velcro. Same with the shorts down here as well. And so that's all really easy to take off. Now, one thing that we do have to point out, very front and center right here, is this cute little bat bow tie. Um, so it's a, uh, it's, it's like a little bow, it's like a little bow tie, but it's with little bat wings, as you can see. Very, very adorable. And then of course, um, near the bottom here, we do have these long lace stockings up both sides with some like little flare up at the top. And then she has these cute little heels. Now these are rubber banded on by default in the box, so I just left it that way so you can see exactly how it comes right out of the box. And we have little hearts and bats on the front there that are painted a slightly different color pink than the rest of the shoe, which I definitely appreciate. A couple of other cute details to point out. We have a little ring on her finger right here. Uh, very, very adorable. And we have a little charm necklace hanging right here as well. Um, that's kind of, the necklace portion is kind of hidden underneath the bat as you can see. But yeah, she is just looking absolutely cute. And real quick, while we have the uh, G3 in hand, let me go ahead and bring out the G1 Draculaura. You can see that G1 is much, much taller. Uh, this is my Boo Originals Creep production. Much, much taller than G3 Draculaura. The proportions are a lot different. I personally love what they did with G3 Draculaura. I think that she looks absolutely amazing. And oh my God, she's just slaying it so much. So real quick, before we get out of here, I did wanna show you what she looks like with the cape on. And oh my goodness. Like this is everything. This look is just absolutely killing it. This cape on mine anyways, does like to roll up a little bit at the ends of it. So um, that's just what's happening with my specific one. Not sure if it will happen with everybody's, but I thought it was a fair thing to point out there that it just rolls up a little bit on, on mine. But she looks absolutely stunning in my opinion. Like, look at this. I, I, I will say that I do wish that these dolls came with stands. I would trade less accessories for stands any day of the week, even if they do wanna stand up on their own fairly easily. I would still say that we'd rather have stands, Mattel. We'd much rather have stands. I mean, see, even I'm struggling, and I, I consider myself to be a master at balancing dolls. Um, I, I think we like stands, Mattel, please. Just give us stands next time. Anyway, real quick, let's go ahead and talk about her articulation. Everything is pretty much what you would expect here. We do have a ball joint in the head. Very nice movement there. Um, we do have um, full range of motion in the arms right here. We have a 90 degree joint in the elbow and we have swivel in the elbow as well as swivel in the hand and 
uh, we have like a back and forth motion there. One surprising aspect is that all the G3 Monster High Dolls do come with torso articulation. It's right beneath their bust and look at that. So sweet, be able to make some pretty cool poses. Um, they do have ball joints in their hips and as far as the leg movement goes, they can kick up about 90 degrees and kick back uh, about 45, depending on what they're wearing, it might give you some trouble, but regardless of that, they do have some knee joints with just a tiny bit of swivel in them, uh, only prohibited by that portion of the joint right there. But that's pretty much it for G3 Draculaura. I mean, come on, everybody. Look at this queen right here. I, I'm gonna say it again. It's definitely my favorite uh, G3 Monster High doll, but potentially the best G3 Monster High doll. I don't know if I'm if I'm going crazy by saying that or not, but I would love to know your favorites uh, as far as the Monster High G3. Stand up for me. Thank you, down in the comment section below. <laughs> Um, and uh, I, I really do appreciate everybody just spending a little bit of time with me here today as we unbox this brand new Monster High doll. I'm super excited for the new generation of Monster High. I know there are a lot of mixed opinions out there, but I would love to know yours, like I said, down in those comments below. And uh, if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. And then also, follow me on Instagram because what are you doing with yourself if you're not? There's so much fun stuff happening there. You should definitely follow me on Instagram. And I'm not only saying this a million times for no reason. Like, just follow me on Instagram. So much fun. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, though. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom, and I'll see you later. Bye.